imagine you go to the kitchen to prepare a recipe written by your mother or father in flashcards. You're in trouble as soon as you see the way it is written with so many abbreviations. Are they writing in another language? It's frustrating, but they meant well in order to make the recipe look simpler and smaller. In algebra, we do exactly the same thing using abbreviation algebraic formulas. Formulas are like recipes, only with algebraic expressions instead of ingredients. And algebraic expressions are mathematical phrases of numbers, variables and operators. They are basically like a sentence where you're substituting words and punctuations with numbers, variables and operators. But wait a moment. Let's take this a step at a time. First of all, we have numerical expressions and algebraic expressions. Numerical expressions would look like... And algebraic expressions would look like... Numerical expressions just contain numbers and operations, while in algebraic expressions we also need variables. A variable is a symbol, usually a letter, that represents one or more unknown numbers. In algebraic expressions we also name numbers as coefficients or constants. A coefficient is a numerical value of a term that contains a variable, while a constant is a numerical value with no term. For example, in the algebraic expression, 5 is a coefficient and 7 is a constant. When we have two algebraic expressions that are equal for every value of its variables, we have an algebraic identity. We use algebraic identities for simplifying or rearranging complex algebra expressions. By definition, the two sides of an identity are interchangeable, so we can replace one with the other at any time. Those algebraic identities we call algebraic formulas. Here we can see the most common algebraic formulas followed by their proof. Are they any good? It is time we put them into use with some examples. On a 10 square meter plot that has the shape of a square, one dimension is reduced by b and at the same time the other dimension increases by b. What would its new surface be if? If its sides change, then the new plot will be a rectangular shape with dimensions a plus b and a minus b. So it will have an area of... We can use formulas to prove other identities. Prove the identity or to prove other formulas. What would be the formula for the square of the sum of the three variables and of course we can use them to make calculations faster. Find the solution of the equation so we have 